Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am Shotlike. This is the first qualifying round. It's the game between Atheas of Scythia and Kixi of China. Atheas is aggressive and creative, and the Scythians start with agriculture and hunting. Kixi is creative and charismatic, and the Chinese starting texts are agriculture and mining. These are the starting positions. Let's get the resource bubbles on. Atheas, he starts here next to some spices. There are cows here. Over here is clams and here is whale. There is crabs. There is corn up here as well. Start on the eastern northeastern part of the starting continent. There are two ba basically two continents here in this game with a little uh, small one up here and some scattered ones down there. Kixi's starting position is over here on the western part. She is riverside with corn. There is gems. There is fish over there. Horses. Some cows. And here is also aluminum. So I'm interested to see who can go through to the next round here. Let's start the game. And off we go. Atheas of Scythia versus Kixi of China in the first qualifying round of the NLC. One city each, different religions, Atheas in Buddhism, Kixi Hinduism. Atheas is apparently a little bit stronger, but that varies a lot. Early game, two cities each now, turn 70, three cities each now. And we see they are keeping to themselves apparently when it comes to city foundations. Atheas is going west while Kixi is going east, of course. Five cities each, six Atheas now. One AD is here, Atheas with six cities, Kixi also six. Kixi is now cautious with Atheas and we see that Atheas is a little bit stronger. One turn 140, seven cities Kixi now. Eight cities to Atheas is six. This is expansion and Kixi is reaching down to those islands down south of the starting continent as well. Eight cities each at the moment. Ten cities Kixi, nine Atheas now. Pretty equal in strength, turn 177. Atheas a little bit stronger, they have touching borders. This could be a war in the making, but let's see if they can expand a little bit more first. In Devon cities to 10 and Kixi is beginning to get a little bit ahead in score, not by much though, just uh, a few points, 50 or so. 11 cities each at the moment and turn to 14 and we see it is still peaceful here, going Atheas uh, going engineering, Kixi is now going banking and they are uh, changing uh, positions due to the score being so even at the moment. Atheas now going compass optics, Kixi, Atheas going astronomy and Kixi is on engineering but Atheas with astronomy he is looking for a way to get into the new world and now also Kixi is on astronomy they are going to get it approximately at the same time, Kixi about 10-11 turns later, Atheas on gunpowder, Kixi now 12 cities, Atheas uh, on 11, let's see who can found a city in the new world first, Kixi has astronomy as well at the moment, we are at turn 259, 260 now, and the war is on, the war is on, but Atheas has founded a city in the new world and is also taking a city in the war, Atheas has founded a city on that continent in the southeastern part, 14 cities to 10 now Atheas of the Scythians, 1.4 times the strength of Kixi, he is winning the war at the moment on the starting continent. Also settling, also settling cities, but we see the peace treaty came rather quickly. He was winning the war, but he signed the peace. 16 cities now for Atheas, 12 for Kixi. And we see that Kixi has that uh, microcontinent up northeast. And there she also is on the main continent, the main second continent. The one that is eastern of the starting continent and 17 cities to 15 now, 18 to 15. Atheas is getting his corporations up. Kixi is getting corporation as well. Atheas goes for printing press. We are at turn 295. 18 cities to 17. Uh, replaceable parts for Atheas next then. And Kixi on the printing press. 19 cities to 17. And now Atheas goes for rifling while Kixi is going for democracy. Atheas 1.4 times the strength. 20 cities to 19 and I think that uh, Kixi has come 
uh, great back after the war. She has equaled, almost equaled the number of cities and she is definitively with a chance in this game now. Even though she is a little bit weaker than Atheas. Atheas is 1.3 times the strength of Kixi with 21 cities, 220. Scientific method though for Kixi going on to physics. Atheas is going for military science. Turn 319. There still is, has not been a second war, but 22 cities to 20 now for Atheas. Going democracy now while Kixi is on her physics. 22 to 20, turn 3, 24. Uh, this game is open. There is no way for me to tell who is going to win this. It's going to be so interesting. Turn 326 now, 22 cities to 20. Kixi is a turn away from liberalism. Uh, but was that her? Was she first? I don't know. Maybe not. I haven't seen any messages that she won the race at least. So maybe Atheas did it. Scientific method now. Kixi going for communism. Next. Two turns away for scientific method for Atheas. 22 cities to 21. And Atheas is 1.5 times as strong as Kixi. And now he's on to physics himself, like he says, on replaceable parts, 22 to 21 in cities, turned 339 now. And replaceable part for Kixi. This could be a space race unless they start thinking about going to war again. Maybe Atheas is thinking about because he is growing stronger compared to Kixi now. Atheas 1.6 times the strength of the Chinese Empress, 1.6 times the strength. 22 to 21, but Kixi is now going gunpowder, so she is going to be helped a little bit by that. Also directly from gunpowder onto rifling. And we have the next war. We do have the next war, but Kixi is only 7 turns away from rifling, so she could maybe have saved herself by that tech path here. Atheas now on to steal 22 cities to 21. He's going to get steel in 4 turns, but Kixi is soon to get rifling herself. Which means that Atheas attacked just a few turns before Kixi almost. Well, I don't know, I won't say she equalized the military strength here. Atheas is 1.6 times as stronger, but at least she has an uh, important rifleman that she can build. 23 is it is 220 now, Atheas. Two turns away from railroads while Kixi is going to get the divine right. And railroads now 23 to 20 is the city count. Chemistry next for Kixi though. Turn 365 now. 23 to 20 cities. Atheas has not been taking that many Chinese cities here. So he hasn't uh, been overrunning Kixi. And now he is also losing a few units in the battle, it seems, because he's down to 1.4 times the strength of Kixi at the moment. But the war rages on. It is not an early peace treaty at the very least. 23 cities to 20 still and now going for assembly line Atheas then. Military science for Kixi now in a turn. 23 cities to 21. And uh, steam power Kixi. Atheas is going for the assembly line now. Five turns away from that, 23 cities to 21. We still have the war, but it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like this is going to be easy for either leader to break through in this war campaign here. Atheas is up to 1.5 times the strength again, but Kixi now going for steel and the cannons, but 25 to 19. So Atheas has taken another city, but we have a peace treaty. There is a peace treaty in effect, 25 cities to 19. That is an advantage that maybe can be big enough to go on to win the game. But I'm not so sure. It could be difficult still for Atheas, but because Kixi is also getting steel now. Atheas is getting towards artillery though. Next, his tech path is clearly a warlike one, but Kixi on railroads as well. And before the next war, then Kixi will have railroads, I think. Then 25 cities to 19, turn 389. 25 cities to 19, there is peace, but it has been wars, and I expect another war because now the peace treaty is no longer in effect. Atheas with 1.5 times the strength of Kixi, but Kixi she is soon getting railroads and Atheas is on rocketry though. 25 cities to 20 now, Kixi has another city. 
and uh, 25 to 20, turn 396. But he has still 1.5 times the strength as Kickstarter, so he is holding building units. 1.6 times the strength, he's going for electricity now. Kixi on to combustion, 25 cities to 21. Atheas with 25 cities, getting electricity, turn 401. 402, this may be a long game, we are in for the long haul here today, it seems. 25 cities, 221, and both of them going electricity. And we do have the war, there is the next war, Atheas now on industrialism, Kixi on electricity, 25 cities, 221. And there is also the matter of the golden age that Atheas currently has. 26 cities now Atheas, 19 Kixi. Is Atheas going to win the game by winning this war? Is 2.2 times the strength of Kixi now? Going for plastics next. 27 to 18. Kixi is down to 18 cities now. 17! 17 Atheas, he is taking it. This is his chance to win domination. He is pushing for it now. Atheas, 28 to 17 cities getting plastics. But this is it. If he can win this war. Going for radio next. Kixi on assembly line. The game is still down, not over. But now she's down to 16 cities, Kixi. Atheas with 29, Kixi with 16, this is an important, and now it's 15, now it's 14, 31 to 14, and Atheas is winning this war now, 3.6 times too strong as Kixi, that is down to 14 cities, and this is going to be domination soon for Atheas, turn 4, 24 at the moment, 14 cities left for Kixi, 13 cities left for Kixi, and Atheas, Four times as strong, going for satellites. Kixi is a long way away from industrialism, down to 12 cities now. This is the war that is ending the game. I am sure they cannot possibly sign peace now. Atheas shouldn't at least. 10 cities left for Kixi. And 35 to 10, we are at turn 430. And composites next for Atheas, but will he ever reach that? Nine cities left for Kixi. This must be the domination in the making now, Atheas. We are just waiting for the confirmation. Nine cities, Kixi. Turn 434. Still no messages about domination, but it must be just a matter of getting those newly captured cities to expand their borders. Seven cities now, Kixi. Seven cities, and we are waiting the border expansions for Atheas' cities now. He's two turns away from biology, seven cities left for Kixi, and there it is. The confirmation, Atheas has won a domination victory in 2019 AD, turn 439, and he goes through to the second qualifying round.
Matthias declared all three wars of the game. He did win all three as well. The first two, he won by 2-0 to zero when City captures both of them. The last war, he did win 14 to 0. And that was the war that led to his domination win in 2019, turn 4 39, after only 34 years and 34 turns in war. So in 34 turns, he managed to capture 14 cities. That's impressive. Let's look at the stats. Here we are. Athias is in the brownish, and then we see kicks in her uh, red. This is the score. A GNP, this is Athias. Manufacturing the same, food the same, power the same, culture the same, espionage, well, the same towards the end at least. Demographics then. Athias's values here, uh, over 1200 in production, that is pretty good, I have to say, 49.3 million inhabitants, these are the Kixi numbers, she had 7.3 million in her empire, and the numbers are weaker than Athias's, naturally. The top 6 cities and the wonders, let's go to the bottom and see the wonders. 2 BC wonders, Stonehenge and the Great Wall, and the rest is in the ADs, let's go to the top again. We see Athias uh, with the number one city, number two city, number three city, number four city, number five city, and number six city. So congratulations with taking all of those. The stats done. 20 cities built, one raised, three religions founded, three golden ages, and Athias has currently 74 windmills, 49 towns, and 39 mines. He did build in his cities. 26 barracks, 24 granaries, 22 lighthouses, and down to 7 Christian temples there. Let's go page down and see the second page with the wonders beginning to come. Let's go page down again. There is a full third page with Sistine Chapel and other wonders. Let's go page down again and see that the Mausoleum of Mausolos is the last building built by Atheas. Go to the top and look at the current units. 90 infantries, 38 workers, 35 tanks, and a battleship at the bottom there. He trained a total of 57 cavalry, 43 tanks, 42 workers, 7 galleons as well. Let's go page down and see that there is a submarine that is the last unit on that list. Kills. 83 cavalry, 55 riflemen, 19 pikemen and cannons and a machine gun at the bottom. The losses done for Atheas were 44 cavalry, 11 infantry, and 10 riflemen, down to 1 archer. Kixi's numbers then, 26 cities built, 4 legions, 1 golden age, currently on 19 workshops, 9 windmills, and forest preserves in her cities. She built 23 granaries, 20 harbors, and 19 barracks, 2 levies, levies, page down, and we see that Versailles is the last building on the list. Let's go top and look at her current units. 22 infantry, 4 cavalry, and 4 airships, also a ship of the line. She trained a total of 59 cavalry, 50 knights, 41 workers, 5 cuirassiers. Let's go page down and see that there is a musketman completing the list. Let's confirm the kills done, 44 cavalry, 11 infantry, 10 riflemen down to 1 transport, and the losses, 83 cavalry, 55 riflemen, 19 cannons and pikemen down to 1 axemen. So congratulations Atheas with going through to the next round, let's take a look at uh, the victory condition screen. We see that Atheas got 74.21% of the land area after the expansion of some borders, so congratulations with the domination win. Nowhere near culture, he just built the Apollo program, but he hasn't built any parts. Atheas also built the Apostolic Palace. Let's go take a look at the cities then. He has 38 of them, so they are here in two pages. Let's go, we'll make sure we are on page one, yes. 
19 Pops, Indruk Sulani, 18 for Cindy Tauri and Geta. And we see they are happy with a few exceptions, Beijing and Guangzhou. And they are healthy with a few exceptions as well. Base food we see here is decentish. Also some reasonable base commerce, uh, 76, 75, those are good. And there are some rather lowish otherwise, but they add up. Production, 109 per turn in Geta for the United Nations. Also started building some docking bays, casings, Eiffel Tower and Hollywood here, but 102 in Yasugiya for casing is good, so a few good stuff here. Nanjing is pop 10, let's go to the bottom and find that one. Nanjing pop 10 and then Shanghai and down is page 2. We see there is also being built a casing in Shenyang. Okay, let's take the cities uh, of Kixi and check those as well. She has seven of them. Let's go over to Kixi. Okay, and quickly go here and hope that she can keep her seven cities while we look at the list. Yangshu and Tainan are pop 14. They are unhealthy, most of them a little bit uh, unhappy as well. Base food we see here, base commerce, and we see the production building. Well, a worker, a galleon, and a ship of the line. Those are not going to help the war efforts, but uh, the, <laughs> the frigates are not going to help either. But one infantry and one, uh, two infantries, really, two uh, fighters that can fight is being built. Okay. Then all that is remains is to congratulate Atheas with his place in the second qualifying round and look forward to tomorrow's games both in the league and the one cup game the cup game tomorrow is the game between Arthur Tusli of the Aztecs and Julius Civilis of Batavia I hope that to see you back tomorrow for both the league and the cup games I am Fjot like this has been the Noble Leaders Cup I'll see you later